Customized inspections allow you to fine-tune your inspections to fit your needs. Custom inspections ensure that nothing gets missed and everything is inspected the way your company wants it. Custom inspections are specific to a unit type. It could be a refrigeration unit, a tanker, or just a regular box van. For this video, let's make a custom inspection that pertains to a tanker. There can be many custom inspections associated with a unit type. One DOT, one PMI, and any number of other types. Click Create New Inspection. Enter the name of the inspection. Select DOT, PMI, or Custom and optionally a brief description of the inspection. If you want to create a new inspection from scratch, leave the template field blank. Otherwise, select an existing inspection as a starting point. The title of your reports will be your custom inspection name followed by the words inspection report. An inspection consists of multiple screens, each containing a list of items to inspect. Each screen corresponds to what the inspector will see on the tablet. Instructions for the custom inspection editor at the bottom. To add a screen to your inspection, click the Add New Screen card with the plus sign on it. A new screen needs a title, type, and optionally a description. For now, let's just enter a title and a description. Now click Submit. There's the screen. You can click on it to add some inspection items. Type each inspection item and press Enter. Or you can also press the Add Item button after typing it in. To delete an item, you can drag it to the trash can. If you want to edit an item, go ahead and click on its text. Once inside, you can rename it and even add a description and PMI number. This description is visible to the technician using the tablet. All they have to do is click on an item and it'll bring up this description. It can be used to elaborate what specifically they should do for this item. If your shop does not use PMI numbers, feel free to omit them. You can change the order of the items by simple drag and drop. Now that we have a couple of items, hit back to leave this screen and make sure you periodically save your progress by hitting the save icon. Now that we have a screen on the front of the trailer, let's add one to the left side. Now you have two inspection screens, one on the front and one on the left. Let's save our progress again. Let's try entering a system screen. These will be the screens that interact with the hardware, such as the auto test screens, light screens, and tire screens. Click Add New Screen and select Left Side Tires. The system screens that are available are dependent on which side you're currently on. Also, they cannot be customized. Since left and right sides are usually identical, we've included a mirror feature that copies everything on the current side to the opposite side. Now what you've done on the left side is mirrored to the right. You can change the order the screens will appear on the tablet by drag and drop. Also, if you decide you don't want a screen anymore, you can drag it to the trash. 
You can edit the name and description of a screen by clicking on the screen and hitting edit. Now that we have a custom inspection, we can use it on the tablet. If any tablet is already logged on, you'll have to log off for changes to be synced. Log into the tablet and select the trailer of this type. In this case, we made an inspection for a tanker, so select tanker. Now in the drop down, you'll see your new inspection. Try it out. Custom reports are differentiated from DOT reports since the latter are for compliance. We've learned how to create a custom inspection for a unit type, how to add screens, how to add items, how to add system screens, how to delete, and how to save. Thank you for choosing LightCheck, and I hope you enjoy custom inspections.